Hey guys, so make sure to watch to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk some more of the backstory and some of the stuff that happened before. But before this, let's go meet one of the nicest guys I've ever met, Olympic gold medalist, 1984, Al Joyner, and now proud to say my friend. What's up guys? I got some really, really good news. I am so happy. Even though I didn't make as much money as I could have or wanted to, it makes me so happy. My good new friend. <laughs> we both live in San Diego. This is going to be a start of a new friendship because we're yes. both brothers in Christ. Yes. Which is I, awesome. I believe that without a doubt, this is a blessing in disguise. And let me be very straight because we get a lot of people always reaching out to us and say, oh, you should just give it away. You should do this. This person is entitled to. I'm probably going to do a little intro before this part or afterwards if you want to hear the story. But I had like 10 different family members contact me. People that probably weren't family members. All kinds of craziness. And... Remember, we still do a business, and I am. I want to be very clear. This is not charity. I am making a profit. Al knows what I paid for the deal. He's the only person that knows what I paid for the deal and the seller. Obviously, I told him this is what I want to do, so I make a profit because that's the business I'm in. You know, it's yeah. like a track runner. You want right. to win, right? Right. It's like we can't be friends, but I want to destroy you in the track. <laughs> so I am still making a profit. I don't want anybody to think I'm just doing charity. But we worked at a deal where I can get it back to Mr. Joyner, Al. I it. It, it is I so, really appreciate it, though. It, it is so awesome. I'm happy that I, I still can make a profit, get it back to you. And sometimes you don't always have to max out. You do the right thing, you know? And we just had breakfast for like an hour. You yeah. shared a lot of cool stories. So did you. Which was great. I mean, Renee is great, you know? He, I know he's on a TV show and everything else, but he's really a great guy. And it really warms my heart. <laughs> that, that's awesome. And just so you know, this, this little video we're doing has nothing to do with the purchase price. We're going to do that no matter what. We just decided we're going to do a video. We'll give you guys an update. And, you know, I talk sometimes on the channel about God and just how stuff works in funny ways. Yeah. Like, so I thought the shoes and certain things were the most important thing. But what was the most important thing to you? And then I'm going to tell you a backstory that's going to blow your mind. Just yeah. mention it. It's the belt. It's the weight belt. So, because that was both part of something that we did together. Okay, and here's the story. What, you have the video first? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So that story that we just told you about the belt, show them out. That is the belt. This is belt. It, it means a lot because uh, this color. I did this color right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I remember, guys. You never know what means to who something, somebody, what the backstory is. Yeah. And that's just really cool. Yeah. Okay, and here's the story. So the, you guys remember George, the guy who bought the locker originally. That wasn't even in his locker. He was, I told you guys there was a second locker. And that person didn't read, didn't do his research. And he just threw a whole bunch of stuff at the storage trash. Back then you could do that. And when George was throwing some of his stuff away, the belt was sitting on top of the trash. But he already knew. Wow. Yeah, he already knew it was Flojo's. And then he saw it. He's like, this is cool. And he took it. So when I say God works in funny ways, the most important thing to Al that I have is the belt. <laughs> you know, even to me, I, I saw it as super cool, but I didn't think, okay, well, I don't know if that's the most valuable item necessary, but that belt was like maybe what, a few minutes away, a day away from a yeah. trash truck coming and taking it. And somehow God, and not only that, what if the guy thrown away, it goes on the bottom of the trash. Nobody would have ever seen it. It was sitting on top, it was protected. And the most important thing to you, came back to you. That's why I tell you guys all the time, like God works in funny ways and we, we might not always understand it or even agree with it, but everything happens for a reason, right? Always, hey. it, it always is. And like they said, uh, sometime, you know, you may make a plan, but God always directs your steps. And I'm glad God directed your steps. Back, it's back to me and, yeah. and, you know, and a friendship. No, no, a new friendship. And guys, the super, even like so when people were coming at me, some people were saying nice things, some people were saying bad things. Everybody always has agenda. But I want to go officially into record here. This is like one of the nicest men I've ever met. Besides With the greatest the, smile. Yeah. You know what? Even even when we did this deal, he could have just came and said, okay, give me my stuff. It's all paid for already. You know, he prepaid me. And, because when I do these deals, I'm always kind of, and I, same thing that I told you, I'm kind of dry because I never know how people come at me or how things work out. Sometimes it works out easy, sometimes it goes to lawyers. But he could have came, okay, it's all paid, keep my stuff, have a wonderful life, F off, you know? He wasn't that, he's like, hey, let's have breakfast. You know, we did breakfast, we talked, we spent like an hour, hour and a half in there. Great conversation, sharing stories, talking about Christianity, talking about Flojo, memories, life experiences. And he doesn't have to be that guy, you know. He could have just taken it and make it a business deal. And it's like, you know, it's a true new friend. I, I appreciate that. No, it, it's from the heart. That was, you know, like like I said, God directs everything else. And I, and I believe that. And, and like I said, I, you know, when I talked to you on the phone, that was just the biggest blessing I could have had. No, me too. And I'm, I'm happy it worked out. I'm so happy that I got it instead of somebody else. 
and I could get, get that guided back to you because you know luckily because we are the public eye when we get deals like this it does go in the public eye and then there's an opportunity you know and then also guys so they are working on the Flojo movie so stay tuned for that there's no exact news but it will happen it's gonna be like Michael Jordan the last dance I know her story guys do yourself a favor just go on YouTube watch some of our races it's like out of this world watch this man jump 1984 Olympic gold medalist <laughs> I rewatch it doesn't even look human to be honest but it's just like you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. And the best part is he was the underdog when he did it. It's not like he came in and was like, yeah, Alice's going to win it. Everybody's like, oh, my God, Alice's going to win it. You know, it's like, <laughs> and so do yourself a favor. If you want to see sports history, hopefully we get the movie and everything. It's going to be amazing. And so we're going to go through now. We're going to show them the stuff. You guys already seen it. I might add a little bit more footage to check it out. i give you some more backstory. But, again, I want to say one more time, thank you, Al. No, thank you. Hey, Clyde, yeah, for new friends. So thank you. Thank you. Subscribe, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys, a little bonus footage because I didn't, so I was too little back then, okay? I remember <laughs> Flojo, but Sweet H2, remember the original video? I'm like, Sweet H2, okay, like, I didn't see anything with that, but that was actually his Al nickname. If I would have taken yeah. the time to look at all the pictures, I would have seen the sign, Go Sweet H2O. Yeah. Yeah, turn it around. That was your jacket from 84, actually? No, this is from Seoul. This is from Seoul. Oh, 88 Seoul. Okay, yeah, okay. Florence okay. got this for me. Okay, awesome. So, but that's his jacket. He, You haven't seen that in like 30 years or so, probably, right? Oh. Yeah, 36 years 36 years so we got that back to him which is super super awesome but sweet H sweet h2o baby yeah gold medalist which means that um i say this little girl um when she was like um six years old and she, i was a lifeguard and she used to come by the pool and say sweet man by the water and all my friends heard it i'm feeling on it and he started calling me sweet water yeah. and that's how the nickname came oh cool you're still feeling awesome 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 <laughs> and then also here with the shoes you know we get them back the shoes i mean these are super cool you guys seen the original video so we're gonna stop it right now we're just gonna show al the rest of the stuff but much love to you guys okay guys so you just watched the video where we gave al all this stuff back and like i said we didn't do this for charity we still made a profit we could have made a lot more money but that was just the right thing to do and it, it all worked out well so we still made a nice profit so we're happy but he here's the thing guys so I got a lot of people always sending me messages, Renee, you should just donate it or give it back or give it to your museum. And usually if I do reply to stupid stuff like this, I'm like, okay, I'm in several thousand dollars. Why don't you pay for it when I'm into it and then you can donate it. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I meant you donate it. So when you see a lot of these comments, those are usually broke people or people that don't think about money. And they're super generous with your money. As soon as it's part of their money, they never want to do it. I've even done it with people where you can tell they have some money. And I'm like, okay, we'll split it 50-50. I pay half, you pay half, we'll donate it. No, no, no. You donate it, Renee. So that's just something you think about. Number two, never listen. This business is crazy in case you buy and sell. When we did this first, I probably was contacted by at least 10 different people that claimed to be family members. The ones for sure I know were family members is Al and Mary. Both were super nice, super friendly, no problems, talk to them directly. Bunch of people went like on a TMC website, an our website, you gotta give it back. This is the right, basically telling you what to do because they run your life, right? And then um, most of them were friendly, some of them were like so-so. So we had both sides. There were some people said, hey, just ship it, we'll cover shipping costs. Why would I do that? Didn't you watch the video? I paid several thousand dollars for it. I didn't get that for cheap. Um, also, you heard earlier in the story, you know, people get mad. You shouldn't buy this. What you do is bad. Guess what? Like we talked about the belt. We told that story earlier. If it wasn't for storage buyers like us, all that stuff would have been in the trash. And, you know, I asked Al because uh, the units were looking messy. They looked like the leftovers. And he says, yeah, he thought they were messy. He was letting those units go. But he didn't realize that stuff still was in there eight years ago. And he never even realized it was missing until he saw this, the videos. So... He got really lucky because the units were messy, they were really low, um, they just got a couple of bits on it. If they don't get no bits, that stuff would have been straight in the trash, he probably never even would have known. So keep in mind all this stuff, you know, we're just people too, we're buying and selling, that's what we do. Most of these people that make comments on the internet, they're hating comments, they usually have no clue about business finances or how things in life work. And also, don't judge by a book by its cover. I had some family members email me, don't deal with Al, he's rude, he's going to try to intimidate you. And it's so far from the opposite, you know, they were describing him as basically a three or four out of ten and trying to get me to send them the stuff. And when I met Al, 
You know, I mean, I never want to over exaggerate, but he's probably nine or ten out of ten. Super courteous the whole time. The nicest man you'll ever. Nicest man you ever meet. You know, he told me right away, he's like, "Hey, I understand this is a business for you. How can we make it work?" I told him one price. He's like, "Yeah, it's a little high." He's like, "Can we do it for this?" And I counted with this, and we were both happy at that time. Did everything he said he was gonna do. Uh, we met up, and like I said in the video earlier, uh, we, we met up and we ended up having lunch for an hour and a half, shared stories, life experiences, told me a lot of the backstory, which is super exciting. So once the movie comes out, I hope you guys get to see all that stuff. And it's just crazy. I never judge what people say or what they think, because everybody on the internet is always an expert. They all have an opinion and they're always an expert opinion. They always think they're right. So I'm going to go on a record here in case you'll say too, like Al is one of the nicest guys you ever meet. So yep. Super humble too, and the guy's an Olympic gold medalist. Very successful in life, obviously. Just a nice guy, so leave it at that. That's the story update. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let's go find the next celebrity unit, right? Woohoo!